Hello family, you're watching My Christian Life and it is Marlene. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, I want to welcome you and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today is such a beautiful day but I want to talk about fresh starts and I am going to put this on my Motivation Monday series. So. I hope you guys will begin to tune in and I'm going to do my vet my best and try to have one uploaded every Monday but this has been impressing on my heart for a couple of weeks now and it's fresh starts and I know a lot of people relate a fresh start especially at this time of the year you relate it to a New Year's resolution or something of that nature but that's not quite what I want to talk about I just want to talk about having a fresh start in God basically any day that you want to have a fresh start as long as you wake up God has breathed air into your lungs he's given you another day another chance to make things right another opportunity to correct your mistakes from the previous day that is really considered a fresh start so today if you're tuned in continue watching because I do believe today is your fresh start I recently gave a testimony in my church and I'm not gonna share it here on the channel but I will encourage you if you'd like to see that testimony or maybe you're just looking for a church right now and you know I'm located in Florida my church is in Florida and I want to encourage you to tune in I do attend the Liberty Church Impact Ministries and we do stream live every Sunday morning at 11.30, that's Eastern Standard Time. So if you're looking for a church, hopefully you do have a home church, but sometimes we need a little pick-me-up during the week and we tend to go online because that's the new thing now, is going online and, you know, um, getting our connection that way although I will encourage you go to a church be a part of a local church this way you have the brothers you have your sisters you have your pastors you have ministers that you can communicate with on a daily or weekly but there's some type of connection also there's accountability um, a lot of times you're staying at home you're watching these um, pre-recorded um, sermons or maybe it's a live streaming but there's really no connection and it's not the same as when you're actually in the church I mean you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit and it's just so much more invigorating just to be in the church setting you get to fellowship with your brothers and sisters you know you get to talk about things that may have been discussed during that service but anyway that's not the point of discussion but once again I did want to share that information with you about my church but I'm talking about fresh starts and as I said before today may be somebody's fresh start maybe you messed up so bad and you feel as if there's no coming back for, from it but I want to tell you that there is no condemnation in Christ so today if it's your fresh start just go before the Lord um, today whatever time you're viewing this if it's morning noon night you can go to God and you can ask God for forgiveness that's the beauty of the God that we serve 
Christ. His name is Jesus, by the way. I like to make that known that his name is Jesus. And I call on no other God but the true and living God. But you can call on God. And you can tell him. You can be honest with him. And you can let him know, God, I, I messed up yesterday. I said things that I wasn't supposed to say. I did things. Maybe... You've got some internal issues going on, some bitterness, some past hurt that you haven't yet been able to forgive somebody. But the beauty of our God is that he is forgiven, he is compassionate, and you can go to him and you can repent of all of these things. And you can say, Lord, I'm truly sorry. I truly want to start over. I truly, Lord, want you to wash away the sin, the past sin, the underlying sin, whatever it may be. And God will have that grace for you. He will have that mercy for you as long as you are in Christ. So I always, each and every day, I wake up and, you know, I kind of lay in my bed a little bit. I meditate on maybe a scripture. Maybe it was a song that was sung, you know, or something that just resonates in my spirit. But I like to spend time just meditating on God and His greatness and the good things that He's done, not only in my life, but the lives of my family members, my friends, even this world today. You know, we live in a chaotic world. So much is going on, but we have to believe that God has us in everything that's taking place. So I do take every, you know, every morning I take the time and, you know, I try to tune in with the spirit. Just keep still, just be calm and hear what the spirit is saying before I go forth and I do my prayer. Sometimes I listen to um, my Bible app. I listen to scriptures. I like to do a lot of Bible plans just to keep me in his word, just to keep my mind refreshed and reminded of his promises and everything that he has for me. So I always, each and every morning, spend time with God. I ask him to direct my path, you know, to lead me in the direction that he wants me to go in. So that is always my fresh start every morning. God knows we sin daily, whether we know it or not. You know, we're not perfect. So we have sin in our life. So you know, I go to bed, I ask for forgiveness. When I wake up, the first thing I do, it has to be a part of what I do is ask for forgiveness. So I know today I have a fresh start in God because I've repented, I've asked for forgiveness, I've consecrated myself. You know, before I even go into worship and praise, I just make sure that I am good with God. Another thing that's really helped me is just being a little bit organized. I know the word tells us that God is not the author of confusion. And I take that literally. So I have found that over the months and especially the latter part of last year, I found that I've just been organizing things. I mean, in the physical, I've organized my home, my office space, because when I have things in order, and how can I put this? I don't want to make it seem like it's all about being a tidy person. That's not what I'm saying. But when I have things in order, I tend to think more rational. I tend to have a peace and a calm and and I can maneuver throughout my day knowing that everything is in order. Also, scheduling my time. You know, God says we're to be good stewards of our time. So, a lot of times I find that if my house is a mess, if things are clustered, I don't I'm not a good steward of time. I'm really not. I come in and it's like I start one thing and then before finishing that one thing, I've gone on to something else. So there's no completion. Nothing is complete because I don't feel. This is just me personally. It might not be your story, but for me, this works for me. Another thing that I found myself doing was 
a lot of journaling. I journal a lot now where I never used to do that. And it's not the same as having a diary. It's a little bit different. Um, I have several notebooks and I tend to jot down my thoughts. Another thing that I got during my quiet time, you know, praying and the Holy Spirit let it on my heart that I need to release my hurts. I had a lot of things that was going on and then I, I needed to release it. And how could I release it other than talking with God, which I do. I like to write stuff down and I find that I, I get a peace when I write issues down or I write things down that maybe I'm going through, you know, I just write it down on paper and I feel like it's like I have a type of moment, you know, I can take a deep breath and I feel like I got that, that, um, I don't want to say anxiety, but I got that stress out. There was some outlet for it. So for me, writing it down, putting, putting it on paper, that is my release so maybe that might help you another thing that I've been doing that I find is very good is doing planners have a very busy work schedule and I also find it very therapeutic to write things down you know as we get older we don't remember everything we don't remember our appointments we don't remember our loved ones birthdays and we don't remember things that we're supposed to do from day to day or when projects are due maybe at work maybe you have something that you're a part of in church and you have to be accountable to it so you need to write these things down so you can remember so that's really been helpful with me I put a lot of things in planners and I have several planners I have one for church I have one for work and I have one um, that I just recently started for YouTube because I want to be consistent I tend to write down my ideas in my planner and then I also, you know, put down dates that I plan on doing certain videos. That way, I'm held accountable to myself. I can look in my planner and I can say, okay, today's Monday. I got to get that motivational episode up. So I see it and I feel compelled to do it. Another thing that works very good is doing to-do lists. I have several to-do lists. I have a to-do list that I do each and every day when I get to work. I have it on my desk and I just go through it and check off the things as I complete them. Um, I also have to-do lists for future things that I have planned. Maybe it's an engagement. Maybe I have to do something for someone and I'm not going to remember so I write it down. And these things might not be as um, time sensitive as the daily, but at least I know, hey, you gotta get this done. Maybe it's due in a week. Maybe someone is dependent on me to do something, you know, within a month and I write it down. That way I am held accountable and I know that I'm doing these things because the last thing I want is for somebody to say, oh, you can't depend on Marlene. You know, you can't trust her to do that because she's gonna forget, no. Our name ought to be great in the kingdom, so you want to remember these things because people will look at you differently. Another thing is just being stagnant in the things that you, you're you called to do, being stagnant in the things that you know as a minister or as a child of God, people are depending on you to do certain things. So if you're not doing it, guess what? There's some soul out there that's not receiving what they're supposed to receive that's gonna come through you. A lot of times we go through things and God um, wants us to do things. He's leading us in the directions and we're just not doing it because we're stagnant in those areas. We're really, um, it could be fair, but we're really not following through with the things that we're called to do. So that's a big issue. A lot of people are stagnant.
they're just stuck you know they're stuck because of fear they're stuck because of the issues of life they're stuck because of financial reasons whatever it is they just find themselves stuck in a rut today we're doing away with all of that because today I do believe it is your fresh start pray and ask God to show you what it is ask God to lead you and direct you remember greater is he that is in us that is in you than he that is in the world so call on God call on him for his strength call on him for his wisdom call on him for his knowledge and he will direct your path as long as that as it is in Christ he's going to direct your path he's going to give you the tools necessary to complete whatever it is so you never want to remain stagnant that's a a detrimental place to be when you're in Christ is to be stagnant in the things of, of God another thing that you may need a fresh start from is doing things and just repeating it over and over and over and you never see it manifested you never see it come to fruition I was in that place where I found myself doing certain projects and I will say this some things God is not leading you to do it so in other words some things are just not meant for you so if you find that you're picking up things or you're all of a sudden doing things in church and you started and it's just aborted sometimes it's because it's not for you maybe it's someone else's vision or someone else's dream and you know you like it and then you want to do it but if God has not graced you to do it if God hasn't given you the anointing to do it guess what that thing is not gonna last too long so be careful of the things that you're doing that you say are of God or God called you to it because a lot of times God didn't call us to it it's something that we desire to do so we just go ahead and do it and we don't even seek God for his approval to see if this is the direction that he's actually leading us into but for most of us another scenario is that yes you've been called to that ministry yes God has called you to do that thing you know whatever it may be it, it, there's so many things but there's blockage there you know the enemy fights us when we're supposed to do things for the Lord we get a fight and it's a spiritual battle so you might not see it in the physical but spiritually there's a battle that is taking place concerning you and God's will for your life so you find that you start something and you start off well but you just never complete it or maybe you start off running, you have so much zeal, but you just never complete it. It never gets completed, but you know that God has called you to do this thing. So what you want to do, you really want to search yourself, looking, you know, look deep into the things that you've been doing. Maybe there's some open door. Maybe there is some sin in your life that's causing you not to you know for God to bless you in these areas so you really have to do some soul searching and if you're praying consistently if you're communicating with God daily the Holy Spirit will reveal to you those things if, if it is blockage the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you if it is that it's not for you the Holy Spirit should be revealing it to you so you just want to be in tune with God at all times. So I just touched on a few things just so you can have your fresh start. One, you always want to start your day off with God. Two, you want to remain organized and have a clear mind so you can have a clear perspective on things so you're not scatterbrained and you're not, you know, you're not all over the place so you want to have a clear mind you want to do things without there being a lot of confusion a lot going on another thing is practice journaling practice writing things down so you stay on track so you stay motivated practice using your planner so you're writing things 
that you're supposed to do on a daily. This will keep the momentum going. You want to remember that you don't want to be stagnant. Not in this season because guess what? Lives are depending on you. Your family may be depending on you. Your friends, your loved ones, they're depending on you. Each and every one of us, we have an assignment that we have to do. And sometimes, most of the times, it's not for ourselves. It's for someone else. So you don't want to be stagnant. You want to go forward and do the things that God has called you to do. And lastly, you don't want to keep repeating the same thing over and over and over. And you never see the end result. You want to pray and you want to ask God to reveal to you ask him to reveal to you by way of his Holy Spirit the things that may be cause, causing blockage, the things that maybe you might be doing or maybe there's an open door, maybe there's sin that hasn't been checked so God is not giving you the go ahead because he can't trust you. Whatever it is, everybody's circumstance is different, everybody's situation is different. Habakkuk tells us write the vision and make it plain so in other words you write it down so you can see it and you can run with it you know how you write things down and you see things and it's a reminder of what you need to do so write it down sometimes it's good to write down some affirmations stick them all over your home and your bathroom and your kitchen places that you know you're gonna visit frequently often so you can see it and it's a reminder to yourself Marlene you got to do this sis you got to do this my brother you got to do this write it down make it plain and run with it run don't stop so let this be your fresh start today I hope this message has been encouraging to you because Lord knows I encouraged myself but I hope it was encouraging to you. I hope that today is the first day of your fresh start. I'm looking forward to what God has in store for me. And I'm praying that God will give you the visions that God will begin to download by way of his Holy Spirit. He would begin to pour into your bosom and you will run, run, sis, run. If you tuned in today, that means that you want a fresh start. That means you're tired of doing the same old thing. You're tired of living in sin. You're tired of not reaching who you need to reach. You're just tired. You're just sick and tired. And you want to change. You want a fresh start. So I hope that this video helped you. I hope that you took some key points. And this is just some things that laid on my heart this may not make sense to you but if it's not for you it's just not for you if you got something out of this then glory be to God but I just want to thank you for tuning in I thank you my returning subscribers and even the ones that have just tuned in for the very first time I hope that you come back I also want to encourage you to like this video if you got something out of it Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and comment.